Hello and welcome back to another Torah Tuesday. Today we're back in Exodus chapter 1 and I want to show you a couple of things in verses 8 through 10 that I find interesting. So Pharaoh is a little nervous because the Israelites are multiplying and becoming numerous and he's afraid specifically we're told in verse 9 the Israelites have become far too numerous for us come we must deal shrewdly with them or they will become even more numerous and if war breaks out they will join our enemies fight against us and leave the country the first thing I want to note is that if Pharaoh had not been oppressing the Israelites he would have no reason to see them as a threat the reason they are a threat to him is because he knows that they would take their first opportunity to fight him and leave because he's made their lives so miserable. So Pharaoh is the cause of his own problems to begin with. They're only a threat to him because he is oppressing them. I want to show you two words in this verse, verse 10, that I think make an interesting connection back to Genesis. So first of all, it says, come, we must deal shrewdly with them. The word for deal shrewdly is is from the verb hakam, which is connected to the noun hokma, which means wisdom. So let's deal wisely with them. The, the only other place we have that word before this in the Bible is in Genesis 41, the story of Joseph. The king has a dream. He is troubled by his dream. And so he calls all his advisors and none of his wise men are able to solve it for him. Somebody calls Joseph up from prison. He is able to interpret Pharaoh's dream. And, and then he gives Pharaoh some advice. You should find a wise man to put over all of Egypt to help you navigate these difficult things that are coming, the famine that is to come. And Pharaoh says, there's no one so wise and discerning as you. So wisdom up to this point has been embodied by Joseph. But in Exodus chapter one, verse eight, we're told that Pharaoh, when he came to power, didn't know Joseph. A new king to whom Joseph meant nothing came to power in Egypt. So he is now wanting to deal wisely. He sees the need for wisdom and rulership, but he's completely lost sight of the wisdom of previous generations that came from the Hebrews themselves. And now he sees the Hebrews as a problem. So interesting there. And the other interesting thing is that he is worried that if war breaks out, they will be added to the enemies. The word uh, for being added to is from the verb yasaf, which is the same root of the name Yosef or Joseph. So he he's forgotten Yosef, and he's worried that these people will rebel and yasaf be added to their enemies. So the name Joseph means to be added, and so he wants to deal wisely with them and Joseph was actually the wise man. So really interesting to see how the narrator is giving us clues of the connection back to Genesis and showing us basically Pharaoh's own folly. The way that he is ruling is, is undermining his own rule. And we're gonna see in the next Torah Tuesday, I'm gonna to talk to you about the ways that he tries to mitigate his own foolishness. But for now, that's enough for one week. Have a great Tuesday.